Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us to talk about computing at College Gwent. Tonight we've got representatives from across all of our campuses where computing is currently offered, which is Newport, Cross Keys, Blaine Gwent and the new Torvane Learning Zone. The colleagues that are with me this evening are going to talk you through the different levels of the different programmes that we've got on a full time basis. But if you do have questions about part time, if you could pop those in the question and answer box, which is at the right hand corner at the bottom of your screen, then we'll try and answer those throughout. If anybody wants to listen to the presentation or receive the presentation with subtitles in the medium of Welsh, you can find these by accessing a CC button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if anybody needs to leave the event before it actually finishes, there will be a recording that can be sent to you and you can play it back at a later date. So remember to keep your questions coming in the question box. We very much look forward to welcoming you on your journey at College Gwent and into computing and IT. So without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Simon Goff, who's going to talk to you about our level one provision. Thanks, Simon. Thank you, Catherine. Good evening, everybody. My name is Simon Goff. And I'm involved in a range of different courses here at College Gwent City and Newport campus. Um, I would like to start with the uh, the Pearson B Tech Level 1 Introductory Diploma in Vocational Studies. Uh, the Level 1 VOC course is literally the, the foundation learning point at College Gwent on all Level 1 learning at College Gwent. Uh, so regardless of the course you're on, whether it be motor vehicle maintenance or uh, brickwork or health and social care, if you're on Level 1, you will be undertaking this course. The difference being that uh, the optional units will be flavoured to to your respective course and obviously ours is going to be uh, the IT related. So it's designed primarily for post 16 learners who wish to achieve uh, level one uh, in preparation for further study at higher levels. Uh, the qualification is not designed to lead directly to to employment, but it will maximise your opportunities um, and to progress uh, and focus on the the, the higher levels. Uh, along with building on your your soft skill set as well as your hard skill set. So soft skills being um, the ability to present, to work with others, uh, the, the social side of things which employers are looking at um, a lot more recently. Uh, there are no formal entry requirements needed for this level one course and there are no exams for this course. It is 100% portfolio based assessment. Um, and, and if you can see, uh, you can see the levels. There are four core units that um, I said all level one VOC courses will be undertaking, being organized, developing a personal progression plan, working with others and researching a topic. Uh, and then the optional units that we have regarding IT are going to be uh, developing a digital information using IT, creating a spreadsheet to solve problems, creating a website, uh, designing an interactive presentation, and contribution to a business event. So it's a very, very broad based foundation uh, learning course with a tinge on IT that will allow you to progress onto higher levels in IT or other um, areas of study. So that that's it in a nutshell. Um, I'd like to now move on to the the level two course. That we have in Newport. So uh, this is the City and Guilds Level 2 IT Users and System Support course, which focuses on um, hardware and soft software installation, PC maintenance, as well as troubleshooting skills to progress into the IT industry. So th this is um, this is your, your PC techie course, uh, student profile 16 to 19, um, but also um, older students uh, have, have come along uh, that have wanted to gain more knowledge about upgrading their PC, modifying their PC, as well as gamers who wish to um, mod uh, or tweak their PC so it works better performance wise. Um, so it's essentially the PC technician support desk role that this course is looking to support. Uh, the qualification is not designed to lead directly to employment, but it will maximize your opportunities for you to progress onto the higher BTEC IT programs that we will be discussing later on in this presentation, uh, depending on the final grades that you get. Entry requirements for this, 
Uh, it's a minimum of four GCSE grades, D or equivalent. Um, there are no external exams. All of the assessment is done with class-based tests that the assessor, the tutor will be sitting with you. Uh, and there, there are several opportunities to resit if you don't necessarily get the grade first time. Um, as far as breaking down the units, there are several different um, uh, units split between the system support and IT users. Regarding system support, you've got customer support provision, principles of IT system, systems and data security, install and configure equipment and operating systems, install, configure and maintain software and networking, as well as the fundamental IT programs that uh, the majority of people use in industry, um, where you've got using the internet, database software, desktop publishing, presentation, uh, spreadsheets, uh, web design, all of, all of the, the building blocks that all organizations use. So it's a very, very uh, good um, course that, that caters for a lot of areas for you. So that essentially is the level two IT users slash system support course. I will now hand you over to Craig Griffiths, who will continue talking about other level two courses that we have here. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Craig and I'm going to talk to you about the BTEC First Diploma in Information and Creative Technology, which is delivered at all campuses of Colleguent. In a nutshell, this course will provide you with the opportunity to gain knowledge and skills used not only in the information technology sector, but also in a range of creative industries as well. And we'll also help But also, if you want to do OK, sorry about that, everyone. It looks as though Craig is having some technical issues there. So the level two, as Craig has said, does run at all of our campuses across College Gwent, where computing is on offer. Future proof your skills. You do need four grades D for entry. And it's a mixture of coursework and exams. It's a, a great course if you want to progress to level three and it gives you a good one year grounding if, if you are looking to explore computing further at a later stage. Um, it's also ideal if you are in a position where you need to reset either your English or maths and it's assessed by a mixture of exams and assignments. Uh, Mark, are there any questions for what, what would have been Craig or myself or Simon at this stage? Uh, yeah, thanks, Kath. There are a couple of questions, actually. Uh, the first one for yourself, and then it's how many exams are there at level two? OK, bit of a test because I don't teach this programme. So you're looking at two exams. Um, they're in unit one, the online world, and in unit two, technology systems. And I believe that you normally would take these around sort of the January point in the term. OK, thank you very much, Kath. Uh, next one's for Simon directly, and that is, um, Simon, how many days a week um, will the students be in college if they follow the Level 1 programme? OK, thank you, Mark. Uh, for the Level 1 programme, uh, you're looking at four days, which will also incorporate the skills support at Level 1, so that will include uh, classes that will be dealing with maths and English to get to, to, to strengthen their skills in readiness for uh, resetting GCSEs. OK, thank you very much, Craig. Um, there are no currently no more questions. OK, I'd like to hand you over to Mike Aubrey, who's going to talk to you about one of the courses available at Blaine Gwent Learning Zone. Thanks, Mike. Thanks very much, Kath. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mike and I'm a computing lecturer at the Blind and Gwent Learning Zone campus, which is in Ebervale. Now, today I'd like to introduce an exciting new course at Blind and Gwent Learning Zone, and that is the Level 3 Diploma in ICT Systems and Principles. Now, this course is intended to bridge the gap between uh, Levels 2 and 3. 
and to ensure that you are fully prepared to make the leap to the higher levels. Now, I should stress at this point that this course is designed for learners who have achieved at GCSE. So you may have got sort of three or four GCSEs or you may have got to pass at your original level two, but you've not quite met the entry requirements required to move straight up to level three. And you might need a little bit of extra time to study and be a bit more confident at studying at the higher levels. So this course is sort of it, it is designed to sort of to, to fill in that gap. So the course is full time and it lasts a full academic year. It consists of six units of study across levels two and three. And these units are at level two. You will study networking principles and the principles of IT systems and data security. At level three, you will study information systems, computer systems, systems analysis and design and software design fundamentals. Now, these units are all internally assessed, so there are no exams here. Um, and they're assessed through written and practical assignments <clears throat> and they're intended to broaden your understanding of topics that you've studied at level two and to introduce new skills such as networking, cybersecurity and programming. Now, upon completion of this course, you can apply to progress to any of our level three courses at College Gwent or you may consider looking for employment. Now, I'd like to hand you over to my colleague James at the Torvine Learning Zone. Thanks, Mike. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm James. I'm the course lead for BTEC Extended Diploma in Information Technology Level 3. It's a brand new course on a brand new campus, so it's a really great time to be joining us at College Gwent. The course is full time over two years. It's the equivalent of uh, three A levels and it can lead you on to university, apprenticeships or employment in the IT industry. Entry requirements for this course are five GCSEs at C plus or above, including English and Maths. Um, or progression through our level two courses. And this applies to all the level three courses that we offer. It's a mixture of theory, practical software skills and programming across seven units in the first year with a further six in the second year. There's also the opportunity for industrial experience, uh, educational visits and external speakers. These will give you the opportunity to see IT in action, get a better understanding of real world applications and supplement your learning. The units that you'll study in the first year are, are information technology systems, creating systems to manage information, using social media and business, programming, data modeling, website development and mobile apps development. And these units are assessed through a combination of external assessments and a portfolio of assignments that are assessed internally. Um, are there any questions for Mike or myself at this stage? Uh, yes, there is James. Th this one though um, is for Mike. And Mike, that is, um, are there any exams involved with the level two, level three course? Uh, no, in the level two, level three, everything is internally assessed uh, through written and practical assignments. OK, thank you very much indeed. There's no more questions currently. OK, thanks. In that case, I'll hand you over to Scott Russell. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott and I'll talk to you about two courses that we offer at College Gwent. They are the level three National Extended Diploma in Computing and the Level 3 Careers College Digital Technologies. Both courses are offered at our Crosskeys and Newport campuses. I, I'm going to start with the similarities between um, both courses. They are identical in module content and uh, assessment, although Careers College Digital Technology students study additional aspects alongside their main qualification. So over the next two slides, you'll see the modules delivered at Cross Keys. Um, but just to make you aware, modules delivered at Newport campus may differ ever so slightly. So uh, it's a full time course delivered over two years. It's equivalent to three A levels ranging from three A stars to three E's, obviously depending on how well you do. Upon completion of the course, you can progress to university, employment or our own HND in computing. So this slide um, shows you the modules you could study um, in year one. This is a mix of traditional exams and coursework. So principles of computer science and fundamentals of computer systems are both exam modules. Uh, IT system security and social media are make up the four core modules in year one. So these 
modules will be delivered at both Crosskeys and Newport campuses. Website development and digital graphics and animation are delivered at Crosskeys. Again, they may differ ever so slightly at Newport, but year one gives you an overview of a little bit of programming in principles of computer science, security, social media, obviously some coding, learning, website development, animation and graphics as well. So in year two, we offer a, a range of modules again. It's a mixture of controlled assessments and course controlled assessments are basically uh, exams. So planning and management of projects and software design and development are your exam modules, your controlled assessments and the impact of computing make up the three core modules in year two. So again, these modules will be delivered at Cross Keys and Newport campuses. Database development and um, networking, um, computer games and systems analysis are modules delivered at Cross Keys. These may differ ever so slightly again at Newport, but again, you can see there's a range of modules from a little bit of web programming and database with a back end, gaming, and um, networking involved. So those are the, the two courses. Level 3 Computing creates college students will both study the same modules, the same content, but the key difference between the two is that College Gwent has formed a partnership with Career College to give students real experiences alongside the Level 3 qualification. So Career College students will participate in an Amazon project, a competition um, where they visit London, they visit Amazon uh, Web Services headquarters, and they, they compete in the competition with other colleges around the country. Um, there's various trips, speakers, design workshops, Alexa skill workshops, and the idea of Careers College is to build on employability skills alongside your main qualification. Um, Amazon Web Services then offer different prizes at the best um, solution to the project, such as guaranteed interviews for their uh, apprenticeship schemes, and they even offered somebody uh, a job uh, at last year's presentation. Careers College students also, in the last academic year, completed uh, work placements at Admiral, working on real world problems using skills gained on the course. Careers College students um, in the coming academic year also have the possibility to study in Norway as part of the Erasmus scheme. Are there any questions for Careers College or Level 3 computing? Uh, yeah, correct. There, there is one and this is concerning the Careers College course. Uh, and, and that is, do they actually need any um, software specific um, software to study at home? So there's a there's a range of modules. So there's obviously a range of different software that we, we use across year one and year two. Um, some it's software is free that you obviously you can download at home programming modules. You know, there's Python, which you can download. Um, we do use Adobe Creative Cloud, so Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Animate and the web development graphics modules and things like that. Obviously, that is not free, but we, you do have access to it at um, each campus and in the libraries and classrooms, uh, Unity and Scratch and different things within uh, your game modules. So lots of software you can download at home. There's free alternatives in, in the programming modules and the web modules as well. So you don't necessarily need uh, the exact same version of software that we use in college because obviously that is paid for, uh, but you will have access to software in college and be expected to um, download free alternatives to work on your coursework at home. Are there any other questions? OK, thanks for that, Scott. Um, no, no more. No more questions. OK, thank you. I'll pass you to Mike. Thanks, Scott. And um, so I'd like to introduce another new programme at uh, Blinding Gwent Learning Zone, and that is the Cyber College Cymru. Now, the Cyber College is exclusive to Blinding Gwent Learning Zone, and it's a two year programme at the end of which you will achieve the BTEC Extended Diploma in Computing and the Welsh Baccalaureate, which would be equivalent to your fourth A-level. Now, overall, the programme is designed to expose you to the exciting world of cybersecurity through study and practical experience in our newly built cyber hub facility. 
In order to operate in the world of cybersecurity, you'll need to understand mm -hmm. the principles and fundamentals of computer science and develop your computational thinking and problem solving skills. In addition, a knowledge of computer systems and how internal components communicate will enable you to help prevent attacks and deal with them when they do arise. Particular focus in this, in this course is on the study of IT systems security and encryption, where we look at the threats we face in the digital world, as well as speculating about future developments in this field. We will discuss the principles of cryptography using practical exercises that demonstrate traditional and modern electronic forms of encryption. And there's a strong emphasis here on practical work. OK, so there are uh, lab based sessions examining the techniques that we use to protect IT systems. And then we can also look at developing uh, and implementing strategies to protect those systems as well from different types of threats. Now, of course, we recognize that you might come to the end of the course and you might not wish to pursue a career in cybersecurity. Uh, for this reason, the course gives you a pretty broad grounding in other areas. Uh, social media, for example, as a module on social media, uh, website development, uh, mobile application development. So the curriculum is quite varied as well as having this specialist cyber theme flowing through it. In year two, you'll build on the knowledge with uh, seven units covering areas such as software design and development, uh, computer networking and human computer interaction. And full details of this course can be found on the College Went website. So, what is it about this program that is particularly unique? Well, first of all, uh, there is the opportunity for industry appropriate work placements with one of our employer partners. Uh, we'll also have executive briefings and each module will be introduced to you by a representative from one of those partners, Fujitsu, who will explain its applications in the workplace to give you a better context of what you're studying. You'll work in our newly built cyber hub and be mentored by colleagues from Admiral and from Talis, who will help develop your skills and you'll be able to practice those skills then in the competitions we take part in. For example, uh, we take part in World Skills and there are also virtual hackathons uh, that are organised for us to take part in as well. Um, we will join other learners at the University of South Wales to engage in their Cyber Week and this will be supplemented with further trips and there's a possibility that we may be able to visit Spain or maybe Malta under the Erasmus scheme and look at cybersecurity further afield. This is, however, obviously subject to the, uh, to the current COVID restrictions. Finally, you'll leave us not only with your BTEC and plenty of experience in, in cyber, but a professionally recognised industry standard qualification as well that can take you onto industry or onto university. Are there any questions for myself about the Cyber College? Uh, yes, Mike, there is, and it, it, it's, it's um, specific to Cyber College. Okay. Uh, and as you mentioned, hacking. Yes. Is this really ethical? Is it ethical? Um, the the type of the type of hacking we will be looking at is what is called ethical hacking or um, white hat hacking. Um, so we're not talking about the sort of the illegal stuff that you hear about in the news where, you know, people will take down websites or uh, steal information. We're looking at the opposite of that. So we're looking at how to prevent those type of attacks. So we're looking at hacking by ways of testing networks for vulnerabilities, what we call penetration testing, maybe testing websites for vulnerabilities. And you go out, you can test a website, you can report back to the owner of that website so they'll get a better idea of what they need to do to make their uh, systems more secure. OK, thank you very much. No more questions, Mike. Great, thanks very much. OK, guys, well, thank you everyone who has attended this virtual open evening. I hope you found it interesting and informative. And we will look forward to welcoming you to Colic Went for the next academic year. <clears throat> Thank you to all of our presenters and the production team for their efforts today. We will be online to answer your questions for the next few minutes or so. Uh, so please send us any questions you have using the chat box on your screen. Mark, do we have any questions? I'm currently looking down and, and there aren't any currently, Kath. OK, are there still any attendees with us at this stage? Yes, there one. OK, 
Thank you for joining us this evening. And if you'd like to make your way to the learner services presentation, they can answer any questions that you might have or uh, talk to you about things such as transport, uh, funding to come to college, EMA, um, anything that you might like to know about application, uh, they'll deal with that there. We'll still be online. We'll just mute our microphones. And if you've got any questions for us, if you drop them in the question and answer box, we'll be happy to answer them for you.